Hey guys, welcome back. Well, we got an update video for you. I uh, don't know, some of you might love it, some of you might hate it. I don't know, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So, so yeah, that is the 4R70W. That is the OEMK member, and that's the 4.6. A little bit, uh, a little bit of information on this 4.6. Uh, this is the motor we were going to be putting the new heads on, but that ain't happening anymore. So, the reason being, we broke this thing down. I had a video plan for you 4.6 two valve guys. Uh, it's not going to happen now. We're going to a different platform. So the reason being, I'll go into a little short video on that, but uh, the reason being is the, the block need to be decked. Um, this thing, it ran good and all that, but you know what? I got the heads off. The heads look like crap. Uh, there was a lot of carbon buildup and the deck actually need to be resurfaced and, uh, and brought down. So not going to spend the money for this platform here with this 4.6 two valve. So you guys that were following it because of the two valve, don't worry, we got more stuff coming, but let's get to the real, uh, the real good news. There's my dirty girl, black, can't keep it clean. All right, guys, this is the kit we have for the front uh, K member. This is UPR uh, is who we ordered it from. We have the Chromoly K member. There's the Chromoly tubular A-arms. Went ahead, since we're lowering the car a pretty decent amount, we've got the Extreme Bumpster kit, new bushings, uh, offset rack bushings. Also got the UPR caster camber plates as well. There's part of the sleeve for the coilovers. We went with the Strange 10-way adjustable struts in the front. And also, these are from a Fox body. So, but the, the car's gonna be down probably inch and a half, two inches. So, these give it a little bit, you know, you don't have to worry about bottoming out the strut as bad with the uh, SN car strut. So, there's the Viking 10 inch springs. Those are 225 spring, spring rate. And what, what should happen is, if I turn these uh, struts down to the lowest position, it should act as a 200 uh, pound spring. If I turn it to 10, it should act as a 250. So it gives us a little uh, adjustability on how this car is gonna handle, if we wanna daily it or if we wanna hit the track one day. So yeah, there it is. Moment of truth. Boom. Coyote 6R80, Gen 1 truck motor going in. No more two valve. Sitting on Chromoly UPR's K member. It's got the harness on it. It's, right now it's got the truck manifolds, but we've got ultimate uh, long tube headers coming. They're being made right now. So those will be on. So here we go, guys. Here's the power by the hour, Gen 1, 6R80 harness, control pack. It's got the computer, O2 sensors, map sensor, relays, and the wiring that's needed to install this. We also have the Throttle pedal, it's installed already. It has the adapter bracket that mounts to the factory location on the car. And then you put the uh, Mustang throttle pedal in and that's that's pretty much how it hooks up with the control pack. So yeah, it's gonna be a Coyote now. We're not uh, messing with the 4.6 anymore. So stay tuned and we'll kind of show you as we're going through this process. And I wanna show anybody that wants to use an F-150 motor, uh, what you have to do to clearance the uh, oil pan on the K member. So stay tuned. Thanks. Well, guys, we got the uh, F-150 pan cleared here on this UPR K member. All right. Yesterday, it was laying on it with the motor mounts. And uh, today, I put a quarter inch washer, spacer, just a temporary shim, just to see if it would work. Okay. It did do it. That was it. I mean, both sides is a quarter inch washer. And that's the, that's what we got now on the F-150 truck pan. So what we're gonna do is, this is just mocking up. We'll order the uh, proper, proper shim kit for that to bring it a quarter inch up and then we'll uh, go ahead and drop it a quarter inch on the K-member to make sure the drive line's centered. So, but anyways, anybody trying to use a uh, F-150 oil pan, that's, that's what you gotta do. So, all right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop the car and uh, try to marry this thing together. There we go, sitting up on jack stands with the K-member. There we go. I, I am. 
It's uh, starting to come in the engine bay. We're just kind of making sure that it's not hitting anything. And there's a harness here on the back that was kind of touching the frame rail. So moving that up out of the way and just keep looking and making sure it's gonna slide in there. But it doesn't look like it will, but man, it, it, it looks like there's just enough room. All right, it's in. It was a pain in the ass, that is for sure. It is tight. I mean, tight. There's a little bit of a pain trying to get it in with the K-member being loose and trying to hit it the exact mounting holes. It took quite a bit. It took a uh, cherry picker, about four people. So he's drinking a beer. There's a bunch of beers laying around. There's definitely uh it's a tight fit in here guys but uh if you look so the reason uh the reason you have to do it this is an f-150 pan so you can see right there we got the clearance we needed and that's all because of these facers we put in right there sorry about that but you can see it's a quarter inch and that gave us every bit, just the, just enough to clear the F-150 oil pan. There's another side of it. And uh, like I said, we're going to actually get an actual UPR billet motor mount shim kit. But uh, this shows me that it clears and we'll get a quarter inch shim. And then also you can tell the motor's pitched a little bit. Of course, I don't have a transmission cross member yet but we're gonna drop the K member down a quarter inch so that uh, it puts the motor back in line so but it it fits just barely AC line had to loosen it up off the clamp as it was coming up I don't know if I'm gonna run that f-150 oil cooler yet uh, I know it it's in the way of the sway bar so we'll see I know it's a definitely a good thing to have but we may keep it we may get rid of it I mean, just barely, guys. Look at this. But it's in. Another thing, guys, uh, you're going to have to convert over to the Mustang drive-by-wire throttle pedal. Um, on the new edge, it's got to be cut. It's really close to the floorboard. So uh, get the adapter bracket by power by the hour. Um, and then I, I haven't trimmed mine yet, but you can see, I mean, it is just uh, right there at the floorboard. So we'll probably cut it at that first line there and make sure it has full pedal travel. So that's also something you're gonna have to think about. Uh, this, this here is a uh, 15 through 17 intake, uh, coder intake. So I don't know, it, it, it might work. Um, we may go to a coder intake, you know, I don't know what brand yet or anything, but just looking at it, it looks pretty decent. I'm sure a lot of guys have probably ran this before. But yeah, guys, so uh, it's in for sure. Now just uh, start cleaning up stuff, getting the control pack kind of figured out where we're gonna put the computer and start wiring everything. But this motor's gotta come out again because uh, it's got the truck manifolds on it right now. Um, we just left them on so that if it gets pushed outside, I can tape up the collector and don't have to worry about, you know, open heads. Uh, we got the ultimate headers that are, like I said, five weeks out, and we'll be dropping this one more time, cleaning up the engine bay the best we can, getting everything ready for the final uh, final drop-in. But uh, we still got work to do. We got the uh, UPR caster camber plates, the coilovers to do, the A-arms. It still doesn't have the A-arms on it yet, so good progress. Um, I know I kind of threw a lot of people off by going this route. Uh, we were... I haven't been making a vid any videos because I was on the fence about doing this and I wanted to give the next video if I was going to be definite two valve or, you know, going with this coyote. So now the decision has been made. Uh, hopefully a bunch of you coyote guys that want to, you know, or two valve guys that want to swap to a coyote, uh, just kind of follow along. And if you got any comments or questions or anything, uh, leave them and hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Um, there's gonna be a lot more to this uh, this build so and also not not only that but I mean we've got a lot of projects we're doing right now so 
stay tuned and uh, we'll have another video for you guys. Thanks. <laughs>